Okay. You should volume up. What? You should volume up. No, that's good. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon. So, I finally, another one of those chores that I haven't had time to do, and I really think we should do it because we're going to be gone a long time. And that is taking care of the seals on my slides. Okay? Now, one option I had, one option I had was this fancy seal saver that comes in a can. It tells me it's a rubber seal conditioner with foaming action. The only problem is, and a lot of people don't realize this, is this particular type of product, or most products that come in with the spray type, are a petroleum product. When you put a petroleum product on top of a petroleum product, you have a tendency to dry out your seals. Yeah, it looks pretty and it seems to be working real good, but eventually you're gonna get those sticky black marks all over your slide as it's going in and out. So what Grand Design has recommended is a sock. Okay, there's more than just a sock here. Watch. The sock is full of talcum powder, baby powder, okay? And I just want to give you a brief description or a brief way on how you take care of your seals. Now, I'm only going to show you how to do the one seal, but be advised, you have two seals per slide. You have a seal on the outside, and you need to bring your slide in, and you actually have another seal just like this on the inside that you can only get when the slide is in. Okay, but since we're live and we're on a time constraint, I figure I'd just show you how to do this. Okay. Climb up the, the wobbly ladder. Hopefully we won't see any type of an incident while I'm doing this. Okay, one more. Oh, mother. Okay. <clears throat> you probably have to go over here, Oma, so people can see. All right. So in order to do this, you're just basically going to dab that down. And you can see how it's turning white. And then I get behind it where I'm actually finding out that's where the sticky stuff is. Probably something to do with assembly or something. All right. All right. I got that down. Got that down, down to there. Ugh. Do some more. I don't know if I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be right can you there. See? I can see. All right. Hello. <clears throat> this there. is why I have probably haven't done it for a while. Sometimes it's harder to get to the seal than it is to do the job. But right here, I mean, I'm gonna tell you, it, it feels really sticky right there. But up here, it feels nice and smooth, like a like a baby's butt. And you know, if that thing runs smooth, what's gonna happen? Slide. When I bring my slide in and out, it's gonna be nice and smooth. All right, get turned around. And that completes. That will complete the seal down here at the bottom. That's it, nothing fancy. All right, so hopefully you learned a valuable lesson about how to take care of your seals. How often do you need to do this? I don't know, I think I just go walk up to the seal if it feels kind of dry and sticky or something. Maybe grab this out. The nice thing about this is you just put the whole thing in a plastic baggie and it's ready for the next time. I put one small bottle in here and I think by the time, I mean, I don't know how much is still in there, but it's a trial. I don't feel, yeah. I don't feel that um, lump in the bottom anymore. So I've spread it out through the sock a lot. And this is, like I said, a real small bottle. Trial size. Trial size. In the tra the travel size department, right, you can buy it. I did six seals with a the, with the little bottle this big, okay? Yep. 
And let's not forget where we got this, the Ohio Rally. We've got some great wagon masters over there. If you haven't signed up for it, it's probably too late. Because <laughs> I think they're already booked for next year. Or, or their list is pretty short. Anyway, when you're done, stick it in the bag and you're done with the kit. And then go wash your hands. Stop. <laughs>